Some of you may, or may have received a hike vision camera with firmware that appears to be all in Chinese and there's no way to change that to English. Here's the drop down where you would normally pick a language, Spanish, Polish, Russian, and in, in this case it's, everything's just in Chinese. So what you need to do is downgrade the firmware to, to the uh, latest uh, firmware available from hike vision which is 5.1 and I'll show you how to how to get that. Uh, first, uh, I'm going to show you what what it looks like here. It's if I log in, admin one two three four five. Uh, you, everything's in Chinese, right? So the first thing you'll need to do is go to uh, rightwoodsurveillance.com and click on support, and you'll see helpful information. And near the bottom here, it says Hike Vision 5.1 firmware and you can download it. It's a zip file and inside the zip file is just one file, digicap.dav. So I've already downloaded the files. So I won't bore you with that. But, but here's what the English menu would look like. When you log into the camera, this is the first thing you see. You can see it's 5.10. That's what I have on my English camera, my English uh, language camera 5.1 version. And, and when you go to configuration, which is the last tab here, the fourth one, uh, it's uh, and you you go to the screen. It's 5.12, so this is the 5.5.1.2 version. You want to change it to 5.1.0. So I'm going to do is uh, under this first second uh, category, the first option is system. When you log in first to a camera, that seems to be where it goes. When it's a new camera, uh, you would do the last tab here, maintenance, right? And here's where we're going to do the firmware upgrade at the very bottom. So we're going to do the same thing on this camera. We're going to click on the first item there, the the uh, last tab, and here we're going to go in and pick that digi uh, digicap.dav file for 5.1 and we are going to click this upgrade button. This would be the same uh, upgrade button that would be here but it's in it's in Chinese. And, and, and whatever this says, I would click OK. <laughs> So you can see it's it's upgrading, it's showing you a percentage, it's a zero percent now, and, and it takes about a minute. It's twenty-two percent and it's uh, it's it's going. Um, so how how this uh firmware got on on a whole bunch of cameras, I do not know it's not really an upgrade I don't see any features or anything that's special to 5.1.2 and it might have just been in development and someone had grabbed the wrong file and and started loading it into probably thousands of cameras <laughs> we're almost done it's about 72 percent done 75 I've used this firmware release on just about every model Hike Vision camera uh, uh, made, so it, it's pretty safe. At least the ones the the Raptor plat platform versions of the camera, like the the this, this happens to be a 2132, a 2032, a 3332, 2532. They all they all work the same way. And that was my phone ringing. Sorry. <laughs> so what happens is uh, it's it's done. It's going through a uh, reboot process, and and when the uh, uh, camera is is done with its firmware upgrade, it will should come back and be normal. And here it is. So what you need to do is it is now, uh, if you click on this first one, we should be at 5.0. If we were to log off now, you you could see you could pick English. Uh, it will stay that way uh, from from now on. 
uh, all the everything will be uh, except for the the on-screen display everything will be all the menu items will be in English if the on-screen display bothers you in Chinese uh, you have to go to advanced configuration uh, image and here it is o OSD means on-screen display if you uncheck this box that says display weak and save uh, it will now be in uh, it will not show the date in, in English uh, and that's what I have if you have any questions feel free to post on this YouTube or post on my uh, blog and I'll try to answer any questions you have